Chicago Robinson is headed into week five of his third season, and his team is currently sitting at a perfect 4-0 this year. The team is off to a great start, but Robinson is off to the slowest start of his career yet. This does not look good for him after signing a massive six-year extension in the past offseason. Part of that slow start, though, may be due to the number of sacks he's taken this year. The offensive line has been pretty bad this year at protecting their star quarterback. Hopefully that will be addressed by the front office, though, soon, as Robinson cannot play with this O-line for six more seasons. Week 5 would be a matchup against the New York Giants who are currently in second place of the division. Robinson rolling out to his right. He's going to pick up a few on his feet. That would bring up second and two. Dropping back to throw from under center. Pressure coming. He's going to get it off to the right side. Armstrong would hold on to that for a first down. Now back to throw again. Going right side. Knocked in complete. As trips right. Mays in motion out of the backfield. Robinson dropping back to throw. He's going to check down to Armstrong who's going to slip a tackle and has the first down. Bringing up a second and ten. Last play of the first quarter, setting up the halfback screen. As that would go for a loss and we would move to just under a minute and a half here in the second quarter. As that would be completed down the right side to Armstrong. Pressure coming. Can't get the screen off in time. Second and ten now. Robinson in the shotgun. Going across the middle. That's going to be completed to his tight end Cooley for a first down. Into New York territories. Robinson back to throw. Looking right side. Dangerous throw. That would be knocked in complete. Pressure coming right away and he's hit. Drop for a another sack something we struggled with in the first episode it looks like it's still a problem as that would be knocked in complete bringing up first and 10 make that second and 13 after the second sack this drive that pass is batted down third and 13 Robinson looking deep he's going to try to avoid the pressure and he can't they had all ways of escape cover that time as we move to the fourth quarter now under two minutes to go. Robinson looking to put together a game winning drive with his offense here. As that is completed to Cooley inside New York territory, avoiding one sack, but he can't avoid the second one. Drop to second and 18, just over a minute to go. Going across the middle, and it's Hankerson. He has it inside the 30, down to the 26. Robinson out of the pocket. He's going to take it himself. He would take a hit, though, as we're down to 30 seconds to go. Robinson stepping up, and he's going to slide forward just shy of the 10 as a quick pitch and catch to Cooley for a touchdown. That would give Washington the lead, and they would hold on to it to walk away with a victory over New York here as Chicago Robinson would be your player of the game. 9 for 14, 138 yards and a touchdown as that win puts Robinson and his team at the top of the entire league and the 3-3 three three Raiders shouldn't be much of a threat to their perfect record. Robinson's season stats are still very low though this year so far except his sacks which have risen to 15 this year already. Hopefully his O-line can turn it around here against Oakland this week. Second and seven starting in in Raiders territory Robinson just barely avoids the sack but that pass would sail out of bounds third and seven moving around pressure coming and gets to him Robinson would go down as this is the last play of the first quarter here check down to Armstrong he would be just short of the first down and another quick pass to Winfield this time he's gonna slip one tackle down inside the 10 that would set up first and goal a handoff to Ramon Mays as he's gonna find his way into the end zone and Washington would strike first as a play action to the right side that's gonna be complete Completed to Cooley. He's going to slip one tackle and find his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington, but they would miss the extra point. Going up 13 to nothing as this pass would be knocked incomplete. Bringing up second and 10. Robinson back to throw. Left side completed to Hankerson. Tight window there, but Robinson managed to find a way to get the ball in there. As that intended halfback screen would be broken up. Robinson looking, scanning, going to right side. He has Cooley who gets the first down and more. Pushed out of bounds as that would bring up first and 10. Winfield in motion. Robinson looking to the left side. Completes it to Winfield. He would only pick up four though. Now Robinson back to throw. He's going to step up on the run. That's tipped and should have been intercepted. Thankfully, it wasn't. As Robinson has another chance on third and six, that's going to be completed to Winfield. He would be short of the fourth down, though, and Washington would have to settle for a field goal. As we would move to the second half, first and ten, Robinson... Pressure coming, it gets to him. He would go down for his second sack of the day as this is going to be completed to Cooley across the middle. He has 17 in the first down, down to the Raiders 33-yard line. Hankerson with a first down reception. First and 10 from the 19 now. Robinson left side has Winfield wide open. Down inside the 10, 
First and goal from the six, Ramon Mays hurtling his way into the end zone. And Washington would go up 23 to eight with one last play here on third and 13, as they would hold off and end up walking away with a dominant victory here against Oakland. This was Robinson's best game yet this season. And second year running back Ramon Mays went off for 97 yards and two touchdowns as well. That win puts Washington two games ahead of second place. And with a game against last place Dallas coming up, you know Robinson and his team wanted to bury them even further in the stand. Washington would start with the ball here deep inside their own territory looking to get away from the end zone. That pass would be completed for a gain of six yards, third and four. That would be completed. Paul on the check down route would have the first down. Now Robinson escaping the pocket, rolling out to his left. He's going to take it himself and only pick up a few. That would bring up second and three. Play action amaze. Robinson going across the middle. That's knocked down. First and ten, under 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Robinson is going to take off and he's going to take a hit. I don't know why he tried hurtling instead of sliding there but he would pay the price as he would go down for another sack we would move to the second half sack still seeming to be a problem as this offensive line has been struggling with them all season long as that's going to be completed to Cooley first and 10 down to the Dallas 11 Robinson to the end zone Hankerson has it diving and holding on to it as they would be down six points now. Looking to take the lead with this possession. Robinson across the middle. That's completed to Armstrong. He would have the first down to the 50-yard line. Robinson rolling right. He's throwing. Hankerson has it again. He's going to break a couple tackles down the right sideline. Down to the 19 of Dallas. Empty backfield. Cooley has it, and he's going to pick up the first down. First and goal to go from the seven. Robinson looking. He's going to step up and take it himself into the end zone. And with that lead, Washington would hold out and hang on for a victory here against the Cowboys. As Chicago went 8 for 10, 116 yards, and one touchdown in this rivalry game. As with one game left to go until the halfway point of the season, Washington was still undefeated, but still only had a two-game lead over New York for the division, and it was time to see if they could extend it to three games here at home against San Diego. Starting out with the ball here first, as Robinson would connect with Cooley on his first pass of the day for a first down. Down into San Diego territory, play action to Mays, going left side, that's going to be completed to Jared Winfield for a first down. Third and three now, play action, Robinson scanning to the end zone, knocked in complete. That was a dangerous throw as he tried to force it into double coverage. Washington would end up walking away with a field goal on that possession. That pass would be overthrown and fall incomplete. Pressure coming, they would get to him. And the San San Diego defense would force a incomplete pass on that as now the middle of the field wide open Robinson sliding forward he would have a first down Washington now into San Diego territory as Robinson is going to take off again and he picks up another first down as we haven't seen him utilize his feet much as he's been prone to staying in the pocket sometimes too long and that has been a contributing factor on some levels to his sack numbers but that would be completed to Cooley there for a touchdown as Washington would take a 10 to 7 lead here that would fall incomplete third and 11 right side wide open is Winfield down the sideline down to the six now second and four check down Hankerson has it and into the end zone and Washington would take a 17 to 14 lead and kneel the clock out as they would walk away Way with a victory to close out week eight here against the Chargers. Chicago Robinson would be named your player of the game as he went for 109 yards in one touchdown on five of nine passing attempts. So halfway through season three, Robinson is leading the only undefeated team remaining, but is currently the fourth most sack quarterback in the league up to this point. Either that stat will have to change in the second half of the season or some offseason moves will need to be made or Chicago might end up asking for a trade in the offseason.